So then, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a selection of different bunkers, including Hackney Bunker, Chancery Lane Bunker, and we're also going to be returning to Holborn Metrotram. Let's start off with the bunker which I haven't filmed before, which is Hackney Bunker. This is a small bunker under the council offices in Hackney. So let's go down the stairs and take a look at this bunker. This bunker still has its original filtration equipment. The rest of the bunker is fairly empty, but there's a couple of interesting things about. In this room of the bunker, some old pictures left lying on the floor. The messenger window is just pass messages through to the next room. The filtration equipment in this bunker can also be pedal powered. This one here is for the air filtration system. At the rear of the bunker, there's an emergency exit. You're through the tube two. Oh, that goes up, yeah, that goes up to your manhole there. So then, let's now go along to Chancery Lane Bunker. Now, I've done many videos of this bunker, but let's go back for another look. Interestingly, in this bunker, there's lots and lots of different Juhas panels. These are not actually for the lift, but for various different equipment around the bunker. Oh, you've got some slate logic here. What's this for Juhurst? What the fuck? What's the slate logic for? That? I didn't expect to see slate logic here from Juhurst. Two panels of slate logic. Did not expect to see that in this bunker. Why do I have these weird displays in the window? It's creepy that looks. Yeah, it's well creepy, isn't it? Party room. It looks weird like that. It's very dusty. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's interesting how I've done it. 
Now we go to some more Juha slate relay logic panels. There are loads of these panels all over the bunker, all to power different bits of machinery. But this here seems to be the main panel actually controlling when all the machinery turns on and off in the bunker. Back in the day, Dewhurst used to make big, heavy duty slate relay logic for all kinds of equipment. In the modern day, Dewhurst are just a shadow of their former selves. These large Dewhurst panels are very heavy duty, very over engineered and extremely well built. This son has been playing bowling, hasn't it? That's why the walls are broke. <laughs> what do you think? No. Yeah, yeah, the balls are broken. The balls are broken. Dear, that's a bit of damage. So then, let's now return to Holborn Metro Tram. This is a short underground tram section that runs from Holborn down to Aldwych and along to what has now been turned into a car tunnel next to the Waterloo Bridge. It's such a shame that this is abandoned. This would make a really good Metro Tram system if they extended it. And just imagine if they extended this up to Charing Cross in the other direction and extended it down to Elephant and Castle. That'd be like a perfect new addition to the London transport system. There's quite a lot of equipment here, which is strange, it's left lying about. The way from over here to ground, and when it got out of the tunnel, it went back over there. That's how it works. And we'll offer it up. I can't believe I went well there. Yes, this was a uh, Cleveland station. Yeah, Holborn Station. Yeah. There's a sink in there and a toilet. That's a strange place for a toilet. I'm just weird at how Holborn Metro Tram looks so well lit up. I need to bring back this tram. Look how much shit is down here now. It's all the shit wasn't here last time. They redid that ceiling. It's all, it's all fresh on the ceiling. I don't remember that. It's completely redone. Oh, it's flooded here. Holborn Med Tramp is looking a bit flooded. I'm not going to go through it. So, to get this right, to pay for a tour down here is £70. Yeah. That's a piss take. Yeah, 70 quid for a 60 minute tour. Well, we're paying nothing yeah. for an overnight challenge. Ooh, spooky! Holton Metro Tram Ghost Edition! Then we now leave London and go along to Stockport and along to Dodge Hill Bunker, which we decided to rename Dodgy Hill Bunker. So here we come to Dodgy Hill Bunker. Fuck's sake, no fucking hell. The path does continue though. There's another entrance. Is this one going to be open? Yes, this is open. Entrance number five of five. Dodgy Hill Bunker. Yes. So we walk round this passage, does it lead into the bunker? All of the other passages are all been blocked off and sadly this one is also blocked off, it's been filled in. So since we're in Stockport, let's now go and take a look at an abandoned train tunnel.
That's, that's the support because it's collapsing and it'll collapse the house above. That's why I've done that. Oh, mad. Wow, how long has this gone for? So I found out why it's called Dodgy Hill. So it's got a dodgy valley tunnel that's about to collapse so I had to support it up. This is dodgy, this is dodgy fucking hill deep, deep shelter. And then here, it goes, it goes it's really big. How, when was this tunnel abandoned? Quite a long time ago. Very long time ago. They tried to fill it in? By the looks of it, yeah. There's all this metal work holding it up. It does look odd. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely collapsing. This is 100% collapsing.